Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a soap and the fragrance is called Cherry Slush. It reminds me a little bit of Black Cherry Balm. It just says it's the scent, uh, true scent of a red cherry. So it doesn't have any vanillin in it, not supposed to accelerate or anything like that. I'm only going to do three colors. I have a base of white and then I'm going to mix really red mica with a tiny bit of um, like a Merlot color and then I have three different greens to try to get a pretty green that I like. Green is kind of my nemesis because it always, not always, but a lot of times it'll morph and then morph, sometimes it morphs back, sometimes it doesn't. So it's a little bit of a crapshoot when, when I pick a green, but I'm just going to do a little bit of piping on the top and I will show you that when I get to it. I'm just adding my lye and water solution.
to do a little bit of piping. Now my idea was just to put little cherries on the top and I remembered that I had these little cherry press things and they come in three different sizes and I was going to do that on top of the soap but it doesn't seem to leave an imprint as good as I wanted. It kind of does now because it's a little firmer but I'm just going to, I may or may not use those but I'm going to just use red. It's in a open, just a circular tip it says number 12 and then this is a Wilton 2 in the green for a stem and then when I'm done with the little stems I'll put a leaf tip on the green and then do a little leaf on the cherry so I don't know if you can see I'll lift it up I just kind of did a where to go right here a little imprint with that little press so I may try to just as you can see I tried one out because my my um, soap is still a little on the thin side, but I'm going to go ahead and just do these in different sizes all over the top. And then the little imprint there is where I will do the little leaf. So, let me see. I'm also going to take a little either of the back of a spoon or this popsicle stick and kind of just spread it out so it doesn't have the little peak on it. And I'm going to kind of do them in different kind of different directions.
back to cut this soap. I'm calling it So Very Cherry. And there's the top and the side. And my design plan was kind of to do a drop swirl with the green on the bottom with the white. And then in the middle to do the same thing with red and then do the white and green again on the top. But <clears throat> as you can see, it went down in the soap. It's kind of pretty. Um, it, because it was so thin. So I guess to do that design, I need to separate my batch and do the layer separately so that the layer has time to set up. Um, it was just a last minute thing. I decided to kind of pour that way. It didn't really work out, but that's okay. I like the, I like the way the red kind of swirls in with the way that I poured it like that. It's just a little bit different. And I called this so very cherry because it is a very strong cherry scent. And like I said yesterday, it does remind me a little bit of Black Cherry Bomb fragrance. Um, definitely a strong cherry scent. I guess I wanted to make kind of a spring summery soap. Um, I do like doing the fall soaps and all that, but um, I prefer to do fruity and flowery. There's more, um, I guess you could say better, I have better piping options when I do fruity and floral, so I did get some new fragrances in and I'm excited to make those. I have not, some of, most of them I have never used before. A couple of them I have used a long time ago and they were good sellers and I really liked them so I decided to go ahead and remake those. So I do have lots of soaps planned for the new year. I do have a sale going on. I just posted this morning over on my Facebook page and I have just a few bars left of the ones I've listed and it's just time to get rid of them and make room for new soap. So if you're interested in the soaps, they're $7 each or $5 for $25 right now. And you will get them in time for Christmas if um, you'd like it shipped priority mail. And there's the last one. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.